Hello. Thank you for taking a brief moment to learn more about the powerful features loaded into Label Editor Professional software. In this video, I'll briefly go over how to import, create, and print files from a spreadsheet. You can also find this information in the Label Editor Professional Owner's Manual under Successive Import Printing, or by clicking the Help menu when working in the software and typing Import into the Index Keyword Search. From the startup window, you can quickly import spreadsheets or create a new one by selecting the Import Horizontal Text function, clicking OK, and then Load Import Data, or New Import Data. If you're already in the software workspace, you can get to the same function two ways. First, you can click the Import Frame icon at the top of the screen, and then choose to load an existing file or create a new one. The other option is to click on File, select Import Data, and then click New or Load. If you want to open an existing spreadsheet, you would then select Load and choose the file you want to work with. When loading existing data files and a spreadsheet is already open, the software prompts you to either add to or overwrite current data. By overwriting the current data, your spreadsheet will contain only the information from the file you are importing. You can also add to the current data, which will add a new file's information below the previously imported file. Let's start with a new data table. When you select New Import Data, a single line table opens to the right of the label layout screen. Adding data to the table is simple. Just click on any cell and enter text or numbers. After entering data in the bottommost row, another row will be added below that line when you click on another cell or hit return. The layout screen on the left is where you create your label template. You can customize your template by using quick access icons at the top of the screen to add shapes, tables, text, borders, images, symbols, and barcodes. Commonly used items depend on the application, but one of the many compliments we get is how easy it is to import a company logo into a template. When you are satisfied with the layout, adding your spreadsheet data to the label is a simple click and drag operation. Select a column of information, hold down the left click button on your mouse, and grab the T in the upper right corner of the column. Then drag it to the approximate area you want it to be located on the label. From here, you can make fine adjustments to the text size, font, and alignment. If you want a more advanced label layout, by right-clicking the T-box, you can specify the column to show text, images, or barcodes. Text attributes will remain the same. Image attributes link the data to images stored on your computer. and barcode attributes change the numbers into the designated barcode format.
Looking again at the table, you will notice that each row in the spreadsheet has a blue box to the right of the row number. When a box is checked, this tells the printer you only want to print the data from that particular line in the spreadsheet. If no boxes are checked, the printer will automatically print every label in this spreadsheet. A simplified way to look at the table is that the alphabetic columns are the bits of information that make up a label, and the numbered rows are the completed label. So in this example, I have three labels, each with four bits of information. You can get a quick preview by clicking on any of the cells in the spreadsheet. All the corresponding data fields will automatically populate in the label layout. If at this point you are ready to print, you have two options. The first option is to print the entire batch of labels, and the second option is to print individual labels from the batch. To print the entire batch, click the print hotkey located at the top of the screen. If the print key is not enabled, simply click in the gray area of the label layout and it will then allow access to this function. From the print window, make sure the box next to successive import is checked. This tells the printer to print the data from the spreadsheet. The two options next to successive import tells the printer to either print the entire batch or print only the rows that have been marked with a green check. If no rows have been checked, it will default to the print all setting. If you only want to print a select row or rows of data, go back into the workspace by clicking cancel, check the boxes of the labels you want to print, and go back into the print window. Next, look at the bottom of the window titled print order. This option allows you to select the order in which your labels are printed when you have set a number of copies you can see an example window underneath the checkbox, which helps illustrate which print option is currently set. This is useful when printing a continuous strip of labels and you want the copies printed in a group or repeated as a batch. When you have the printer set to your satisfaction, you can also double check how the labels will look when printed by going into the printer settings, click on the options tab, and check the box next to Print Preview. The preview will open after you hit OK from the print window. If you are not satisfied with the way they look, you can cancel printing and make the necessary corrections without wasting supply. Pressing OK from here or the print window will then print your labels. If you are printing from an LWPX printer model, the software will keep count of the number of labels printed and will alert you if the cartridge runs empty before the end of the batch. You can then insert a new cartridge into the printer and continue printing from where the batch ran out of labels. If you are printing from an older label shop printer, unfortunately, this function is not available. Now that you have a better understanding of how to import, create, and print data tables, go ahead and explore the new ways to make your labels stand out from basic text on tape. Don't wait any longer. Make your workplace visual and professional.